Hello, this is Bern, and stick around because today I'm going to be sharing with you why despite anything you may have heard, attracting unavailable men is not a real problem. Stay tuned. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and despite what you may have heard, from your friends or what, what you may have experienced in your life, I'll be sharing with you today why attracting unavailable men is not a real problem. I get bombarded every single day with questions and with women who are have challenges, who want to resolve their challenges in love. And one common theme or thread that I experience constantly is that feeling of, oh my God, what am I doing wrong? I'm attracting unavailable men, almost like what's wrong with me? And I'm here to tell you that I'll be revealing right now what's the real problem. The real problem is never attracting unavailable men. The real problem is being attached to or wanting to engage with unavailable men. That's the real problem. Because the truth is, imagine your heart and your radiance and your beauty and your awesomeness as a magnet. And imagine that that magnet attracts all sorts of iron filaments, for example, right? Now, if you grow in excitement and passion and awesomeness, then you become a stronger magnet. The stronger the magnet, the more you attract. But you can create some filters to dissuade certain types of men from being in your energy field, so to speak. But if you're a strong magnet, <laughs> you're gonna attract all sorts of men. So the idea that you can only attract a specific kind of man, I think is a little bit bullshit, but the idea that you can say no to certain kinds of men is very real. And the problem is not that you're attracting guys who are unavailable. The problem is that you're wasting time with them, that you're being attached to, that you're interacting with them in ways that are not healthy for you. So number second challenge that's the real uh, problem behind attracting unavailable men is not having a finely tuned intuition that will share some red flags that will share red flags with you in such a way that you can very early on in the process or as early on as possible say fuck no instead of yeah let's continue connecting and getting to know each other right sometimes you miss some red flags most women that i connect with either they miss the red flags or they see the red flags but they're unable to say no because they feel some strong level of chemistry, which leads me to my third point. The third real challenge of attracting unavailable men is secretly, subconsciously craving the intensity of the clusterfuck of pain and rejection and soap opera and Romeo and Juliet experience that you will have, which makes, creates uh, this kind of experience where it's more exciting to go through that than what you're going through in your day-to-day -day life. So when your day-to-day -day life is not super exciting, anything, including drama and shit in terms of emotions and a guy who's not committing, feels more exciting in some way. It creates variety, it creates intensity. So secretly craving that intensity from this dark experience versus creating it in your own is part of the real challenge of attracting available men. So next time you find yourself telling yourself this, or you see a friend that says, I just attract available men, first of all, it's not true, but most women tend to focus on those guys because they are um, not fine-tuning their intuition or because they're about to experience something kind of painful that seems more exciting than what they're going through. Now, these are not the only challenges, but I can tell you these are by far probably the strongest ones in the area of unavailable men. So sharpen your magnet and know that when you sharpen your magnet that you'll have to create more stops and you'll have to say no more times but you'll have more options. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful to you. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on my <laughs> uh, video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, somewhere on your screen, you'll see a pop-up that allows you to sign up to a webinar I'm hosting that will share with you a three-step blueprint to find your soulmate in nine days or less. This is very powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.